We are on television with PCTV, and good evening, everybody. Today is Monday, November 5th, 2018, 6 p.m. We are having our regular New Fane Select Board meeting, and I'm calling that to order at this time. And the first item on the agenda tonight are if there are any additions or amendments to the agenda. Does anybody have something? Madam Moderator, for those at home who may not be able to see the TV, who's in attendance tonight? Who's in attendance? We have Mike Fitzpatrick, Chris Williams, Shelley Huber, Gary Delius. We have Shannon Meckel, Administrative Assistant. We have Jay Wilson, Road Foreman here, and I'm Marion Dowling. <coughs> Thank you. So now, is anybody who can please make a motion to accept the October 1st regular meeting minutes? So moved. Any second? A second. Thank you. <laughs> okay, any discussion about the minutes? Okay, all those in favor of accepting, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Say nay. Okay. The ayes have it, and those minutes are passed. The next set of minutes were from October 15th, um, regular select board meeting. Is there anybody who has um, something? I don't have a copy of those. Do you have those? No. Yeah, we don't have a copy. Oh, yeah. I wasn't there. I, it was just three of us. Yeah. It was just the three of us, right. It so, was you, me, and yeah. Mary. Yes. Yeah. So Mike and, we had a minor and Chris majority. have to um, Mike and Chris have to abstain. Yeah. And so, uh, do we have it, Shen? It might have been in my email, but I didn't see it. Yeah, it was. I saw it. Did you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I did send it. Motion. Oh. <laughs> I make a motion to accept the uh, minutes of the October 15th meeting. Thank you. Second? Um, yes, second yes. that. Okay. Any discussion about those minutes? No. All in favor to accept, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Okay, the minutes of both meetings have been passed, and we're moving on to road business, road foreman, and road commissioner's report. Jay Wilson, please. Uh, we've rented an excavator for a month and we're brush cutting and ditching with it right now. Um, there's some tree work that needs to be done at the Williamsville Hall and we've got a guy coming next week. Um, we need to do that so the slate on the roof can be repaired. Uh, apparently it has a leak somewhere. Okay. My question is, is there money left in their budget to do this work? Well, they came in last week the budget got adjusted. There was about 1,200 left. Yeah. 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 So, what 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 does the estimate look like? Oh well, yeah, they're gonna have to go up on the roof and look at it. Okay. Well, what's the tree? Will you guys do the tree work? No, we have to have it. It'll have to be from a bucket truck. It's a big tree hanging over the roof. So that's, you know, you're looking at four or five hundred dollars right there, mm -hmm. and then um, plus whatever the roofing. <coughs> Is, so. Who's going to come and look at the slate roof? Perry Phoenix? We've got a couple. We, we we're going to call to see who might have time to, to get to it. Because it's slate. Okay. I think last time you used good band here. Mm -hmm. um, have any of the representatives of Williamsville Hall um, been brought this up about? Yeah, actually, it was Steve Levine called me to say that the roof was leaking. Uh -huh. um, so yeah. they're aware, but he's he's ill, so he he was supposed to come tonight, but he can't be there. So. I see. So what do we do about this? We it has to be fixed. It has yeah. to be fixed. Yeah. I no. Okay. I think you might have to go back and look at that estimate and see what can be put off. Okay. I think. There's something that wasn't critical. Okay. So we can do that later. Yeah, you can do that at future time. Just, I yeah. just want to let you know. Okay. Just, oh, that. Yeah. Yeah, we they totally may, want to see here. They may be able to make a recommendation of what item is in Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. 
Okay. Um, I met with Mike Fitzpatrick on the Dover Road, um, and we will have Mark Pickering mark the road where the pavement needs to get cut out, um, and they'll cut it out and repave it in the next week or so. Uh, the River Road Bridge entrances have been repaved, and they're still waiting for the tele telephone company to remove the poles so they can finish the guardrail. We had Depot Road closed for an extended period of time this weekend for the broken pole. Um, Green Mountain Power worked through the night to get a new pole set and the power restored. Um, we had gotten a price last year on replacing some of the windows in the town, actually all the windows in the town garage. And want to know if you're interested in continuing with the project. Um, maybe we could do half of them this year, half next year or something to kind of keep up on it. The, their wood on the inside and the moisture in the building doesn't work real well with the wood. Um, the yellow lines were completed for the new pavement. Um, I did order the second radar sign and the state has recommended that we request a road safety audit report be done so that we can have recommendations from the traffic engineers as to the best way to control speed. Um, I'm waiting for the application to come so we can complete that. So. Okay. Uh, any mo motion to pass the road foreman's report? Um. What about the windows, Jay? On that there, was, well, who's going? Were you guys putting them in? You said no, um, at the time I've forgotten who we did get prices from, but I think we probably have to start all over because it's been a year to try to get a price from somebody. But I don't think it was. If I, from what I remember, it wasn't terrible. Um, they were pretty straightforward to replace, and there's nine total. So if we did five or whatever, and then do do four next time. Do you have money? Do we yeah. have, um, could one of the employees do that that's a carpenter? Probably. Is there time so we could do it there? That's all right. Let right. me back up and regroup on that. <laughs> Maybe as it gets colder, you know, we could. This time of year, we're trying to keep busy out doing stuff outside. But. Yeah. Well, either way, then, you know. Do you have money in capital? We have, yeah, we do have money on the capital fund for it. I think it would pay to keep going with it, like you said, though. But if not, you're going to have to tackle it all at one time pretty quick, you know. I would agree with that. It's ultimately cheaper to do it all at once than try to drag it out. Right. Shelly, did you have something yeah. to ask? Or um, he said he would, uh, that there was money in the capital fund oh. budget. Okay. Is that the capital fund budget for the whole town or no, for your... For the town garage. For the town garage, yeah. So there is money. Nine. So I, I uh, definitely agree with Gary that I think the work should be done all at once rather than split it up, don't you? I'll, I'll get new prices and then we can go for Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, sure. Jay, for all the work you're doing. And I'd like to have a motion to accept Jay's report, please. Uh, one other thing, too, is like the yeah. excavator and stuff you said you got, that's been working pretty good, hasn't it? Working really good. I mean, it's, I went up today where he mowed and stuff is looking good it's like that. That's great. Does it have the arm on it? It's got a, um, a brush head and then the buckets and stuff. We've been using both. So. One of those extended arms? When it's, you say well, brush the, ex head? the excavator has is, is got the arm on it. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. But you attach it onto that. <clears throat> We got another one coming this week too for a demo. Oh. Yeah, just to, to try it out and stuff. Mm -hmm. Would that be for consideration of purchasing in the future or well, renting? Yeah, and try them out, see how they like it. Uh -huh. Just ran it down for a couple of days for three demos and stuff on it. So that's great. I told Jay to try them outside by the same area to see how they both work together. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Motion to accept. Make so, a mo so move. Second. Second. I make a motion. Okay. Any further discussion? Each right gets a second. No, no discussion. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Okay. Any opposed? Okay. Thank you, Jay, again. Thank you, Chris. Next one, administrative assistance report. Shall I? Oh, Shannon, sorry. <laughs> Um, I attended a meeting with Blue Cross Blue Shield last Monday. They went over the new rates for 2019 and discussed some new products that were available. And they were really encouraging employers to consider a new product that they're offering. 
and we can you know get into detail with that during the budgeting session but I felt that the new products would have been kind of a big change for the employees um, if they're not even close to the same type of plan that we have now. Good change, positive or negative, or you're not sure? I don't know. I had mixed feelings about okay. it, honestly. Um, but I'll show them all to you during the budgeting. Okay. And you can look at them. But um, I felt like the main point of the meeting really was to encourage these new products that they're offering. Um, um, the Route 30 corridor um, Thursday on the 25th of October, I, along with Shelly and Bobby Canlis, attended a Route 30 corridor meeting held by VTrans. Um, the purpose really was to reach out to towns along the Route 30 corridor before they begin various product <coughs> projects that they're going to be doing along Route 30 um, within the next few years. And they're telling us that there will be more detailed meetings coming up where, you know, um, they'll be bigger, there'll be more people involved um, coming up, but um, they're encouraging towns to share the issues that we're dealing with along Route 30, um, any ideas we have, and specific requests. So they want to hear about those early before they, you know, actually get started with construction. Um, and there's plenty of time for that as they get closer, but we'll just stay aware. And then, shall I be back next thing you want to do? Um, I didn't catch on what their um, proposed date of start. <clears throat> they don't know. They don't really know. No. I mean, they're, they're planning different projects all the way up Route 30. So yeah. This was really just sort of a reach out sort of meeting to yeah. let them, you know, let us know that. Where would they be starting from? Brattleboro or? Yeah, yeah, I think they're going to be really focusing Brattleboro to like Jamaica. Uh -huh. A lot of so. emphasis on having it walkable and rideable with yeah. bikes and stuff. And there's some areas that we noted that there was no room for any of that. Yeah. Um, and then we talked about different uh, developments happening, historical or recreational, right. very much yeah. recreational oriented yeah. along the corridor. Oh, we're done? No, I'm not. Um, we received confirmation that the projects coming from the November 2017 storm have been approved for closeout, which means reimbursements should be coming in soon, um, much quicker than the Irene storm, but it was also a lot smaller. So um, I don't think they were quite so overwhelmed. So. And you did a lot of work with FEMA on that. Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't nearly what Irene right. took, so. Um, and the Sky Solar program, um, that's the solar field that went in at Wyndham Solid Waste, and that is up and running. If you recall, a few years ago, the board signed on with them to get um, the net metering credits from them. So we'll start to get, actually, two electric bills, one from Green Mountain Power showing what our credits are, and then the actual build part will come from Sky Solar. Mm -hmm. And then I just attached a memo that I got recently that explains kind of how the building will work from now on. So. Okay. Well, thank you for all of that. Sure. Any discussion? Motion to accept. Okay. Second. 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 Okay. Thank you. Well, those in favor of accepting the administrative assistance report, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Thank you very much, Shannon and Jay. So we are now moving along to unscheduled members of the public. May I ask, are you unscheduled or scheduled? Um, unscheduled. I just wanted to sit in on it. Oh, just fine. Kind of get oh, a great. feel for it. Good. Welcome. Thank you. Um, have you been to select board meetings before? I haven't. No. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have uh, scheduled meetings of the pub, members of the public, and they are not here right now. Yeah, that's said Steve Levine. He's ill, so he, he let me know today. Okay, and was he coming alone or? He, yeah. Okay, he's so that is tabled now yeah. for another time. Okay. It was just discussion. Anyway. Okay. 
my goodness. Um, old, tra old business, traffic common. <laughs> we are doing it really. We're we moving along that. very quickly here tonight. I actually have a letter. <coughs> Sorry. I thought we just did that. They're going to make a survey <coughs> with the engineers. Yeah, right. yeah. That would be interesting. Right, yeah. I have a letter actually that a resident of South Newfane sent. I don't think I can read it because I can't stop talking. That's a big letter. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gary, I'll give it to the chairman. She can assign who gets to read it. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll pass this <laughs> Paragraph each, right? <laughs> That's right. Story time. <laughs> exactly. Okay, this is written um, to the select board, and it's from Juliet Carr, and she's on Dover Road in South Newfane. I will start to read the letter. Okay, to the select board, I am writing to request a change in the speed limit from 45 miles an hour to 35 miles an hour on part of Dover Road in South Newfane, specifically the relatively heavily settled area running from our house to just past the Mesa's and Covio's houses, uh, parentheses 645 Dover Road. This would not be a huge change for local residents as the 35 miles an hour section already starts right past our house at Lynn Forest with the warning sign on our road frontage. It would simply extend the 35 miles an hour zone to include an area with numerous young families and a school bus stop. This part of Dover Road is especially prone to speeding, both from people leaving South Newfane Village and from people taking advantage of the straightaway after the hill in East Dover. Pulling out of any of the driveways or side roads in this stretch, my neighbors and I are accustomed to pulling out onto an empty road only to have someone swerving around us by the time we are straightened out in the lane. Someone at the state police told me that they have pulled over people going 100 miles an hour through here. I am regularly passed on both the left and right sign while signaling to turn into my driveway. And I've seen people speed past the oil delivery truck on the right too, which is an accident no one wants to see. Would you like to continue? Next paragraph, please. It is an extremely dangerous stretch of road especially for families with young children since many people driving through do not seem to realize that families live here as there are empty stretches of road in both directions i know of at least seven families with young children between our place and the Cobios. is that how you pronounce that yeah yes. including numerous families on stratton hill road <coughs> and beach tree lane car brown getcher uh, Carros, Mace, Carvio, uh, Covio, and one more whose name I don't know. There's also a school bus stop on the pull-up where our place meets Stratton Hill, and the bus is often passed by speeding cars. Additionally, trucks and equipment are regularly pulled in and out of Stratton Hill Road, the pull-up in our property, which is extremely dangerous when people drive like there is nothing around the next bend. <clears throat> this section of Dover Road, while rural, is certainly heavily settled for the area and has a high density of families with young children, as well as significant turning traffic. Although a speed limit change will not change the behavior of people inclined to felony speeding as a matter of their daily life, it would alert ethical drivers, which I hope includes the majority of us, that they should decrease their speed and drive more carefully. This is especially true coming from East Dover. There are almost no <coughs> houses from Brookside until the section of road in question. So drivers come around the bend into more heavily settled area and have no awareness that 45 
uh, miles per hour or 65 plus, which is more accurate for many of them, is no longer appropriate. A yellow speed limit change sign followed by a 35 mile per hour zone would cue drivers into the fact that there are houses strung right along the road here. Final paragraph there. Okay. In the next 10 years, people over 65 are projected to make up 45% of Wyndham County's population. The state has a whole, as the th state as a whole is losing young people and families at such an alarming rate that schools are closing for lack of students. It should be a point of pride for all of us that young families are actually moving to New Fame. With so many houses for sale in South New Fame, it is to our advantage to, to be as family friendly as possible, including doing what we can to keep our residential areas and school bus stops safe. Thank you for your consideration. I would be happy to speak to you at your convenience. Sincerely, Juliet Carr. Um, Juliet, if you're watching TV, um, we have been working with the issue of traffic calming for the la last several months. There is a committee of traffic calming people. Um, Annie Landenberg, who lives on, in Williamsville, is heading that committee. We had a special evening a few weekends ago uh, at Williamsville Hall discussing this. And the traffic committee reports to the New Fane Select Board once a month. We will pass this along to the Traffic Common Committee, and my suggestion to you would be, if you are interested in um, more information, please contact uh, the Traffic Committee Common uh, Group, sorry, the Common Group, or come to a meeting and um, express more of your opinion there. But we want you to know we're working very uh, diligently on this. Mm -hmm. And thank you for your letter. Any other comments? Uh, just a note that I'm the um, select board um, point person for the traffic calming committee. And this is Shelly Huber. <coughs> so you may also, um, if you want to contact Shelly, the easiest way to do that is to send an email or a letter in care of Shannon Meckel, the administrative assistant, and uh, she will hand it over to Shelly. And that's it. Thank you. Okay. I gave that to you, but probably should go back and share this file. Yeah. Make a copy. Um, is there any more correspondence for tonight? Um, there is. Do you want to? Oh, it is. <laughs> I guess it's that time anyway, isn't it? Correspondence. Yeah. Yes. We are moving along. Yay. I thought there was this no traffic coming. Yeah. No. Okay. This is from Sevens. Yeah. Um, it's a connectivity yeah. summit. Yeah, November 30th at the Grand Summit out. Resort Hotel yeah. Mount Snow. Uh, there is an RSVP required, and that's to Sarah Lang at uh, BrattleboroDevelopment.com. And the deadline for that is November 23rd. It joined the Brattleboro Develop. Brattleboro Development Credit Corporation Southern Vermont Economy Drop Project. Ooh, that comes tripping well. In its second annual Connectivity Summit. Track one will include connectivity information and how towns can get organized around these issues. Track two is for towns who have a town sanctioned effort. These towns will be able to sign up for a 30 minute one on one meeting with uh, Clay Burvis, VT Department of Public Services. Service providers, FirstNet, and other regional planning commissions. Okay, thank you. To answer your question, yes, they've got it almost all up. Okay. Um, this has been a very short meeting. Um, unfortunately, uh, not all the people who were supposed to be here are here. Some people aren't feeling well. So we have tabled discussions for the next meeting. We thank everybody for coming, and we are moving on to pay orders. Thank you very much. Have a good evening and a safe evening.